Oh, it's 5 a.m. on show day. We've been uh, fighting a cold in our house. I actually feel way better. Um, spent all day yesterday getting everything together and uh, actually slept really good. So I woke up realizing that there was a bunch of last minute things I had to throw in for the trip and food I need to cook. So, yeah. Excited about the new market, but man, it's a lot of work sometimes to get all this stuff together. I think honestly, if we did this all the time, it would be a lot easier. But since we don't do a lot of in-person shows, it's uh, it's a challenge, but it should be fun. So um, after about six and a half hours in the car, we finally made it here. We got the booth set up. The whole event starts tomorrow, so we'll actually start setting up the items on the tables and stuff tomorrow. And we have some of our best friends' neighbors over here. Dominic and Lisa Marie's hey. bees. So we're super excited about the event and we'll let you guys know how it turns out. Yep. We like that. <laughs> Tori. <laughs> okay, all right, so we... <clears throat> okay, tell me what you want me to do. Okay, for, are these beautiful flowers. Okay, so you want me to take a picture of you. I for want you. you to take a picture. Okay, and then I what want are you we? To do a video. And then, okay, then what's the video gonna do? What are you gonna do in the video? I'm, Just, gonna, I'm gonna jump out. Okay, jump like. Jump to the market. Oh. You got it? Yeah, okay, let's do it. You ready? They go. Go. Come to the market. I still think you're the biggest stork in the world, but I love you. <laughs> You guys, I don't know how I keep ending up camping when it's freezing cold. Um, woke up to a very, very brisk morning. Decided it was too early. Crawled back in the sleeping bag, but now I'm up for round two. Gonna, um, they made, they brought in really nice bathrooms, so I'm gonna go look good for the day and get started. But I figured moving would warm me up faster than sitting in the tent freezing. So we're at Market in the Mountains, and when Todd and Heather got here, Todd said, <laughs> Todd said, people come here? They're in the middle of nowhere. And they do! Guess what? It's like Field of Dreams kind of thing. <laughs> like car after car after car. It was crazy! Thousands of people. Who want to do? You throw a market in the mountains, and you bring a bunch of cool creative people together, and you get a great event. Then you spend. It's a goal. All right, day one of the market is done. It was a lot of fun, a beautifully curated market. And this is the young lady that made us come. How was your day here? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah, she sold, that, she sold lots and lots and lots and lots, lots of lots, lots. candy. Yes. <laughs> and honey. I'm a honey lady, <laughs> and I sold a ton of honey candy. Yeah, so yeah. great time at Market in the Mountains. It's a beautifully curated event. So if you ever want to drive here, you're ever over here by Springdale, you should come check it out. <laughs> So I was up this morning at 5 because um, it was really cold. We rented a truck, but um, they didn't have it. So we got like this Subaru-sized vehicle, which really, really changed the packing. And I didn't pack enough warm stuff. I thought it was going to be like in the 40s. And it was like 29 or 30 when I got up this morning. But anyway, so... I'm sitting in the car in the middle of a field with the heater on and I'm feeling great, but you guys check out this view. This is what I get to see. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay being a little cold in the car because it's absolutely a gorgeous sunrise. And there's um, a farm over here. Well, and we're camping in a hayfield for this event, but it's a beautiful start to the day. Day two was a lot of fun. It was a little quieter and uh, we packed everything up. Everything was so dusty. We were so hot. So it was great to get in the car and head over to Kashmir, which was about halfway home. We were going to stay the night there, hit our favorite antique shops, and then take another three hour drive home the next day. Let's go antique shopping.
Market in the Mountains was so much fun. This is the first time that we've done the event, and um, I'd seen how well it was curated, so I was really excited to be at an event that was so hard to get into, but had so much beautiful stuff. So we had a lot of fun being able to hang out with our friends Dominic and Marisa of Marie's Bees, and we had lots of great customers. It was a really fun show. Um, it was a six and a half hour drive for us. That was a bit of a long drive, and we did camp in the field, so it was a bit of a dirty event even though all the customers were so dressed up and so beautiful. And what was really interesting about this particular market was usually we do markets and the audience is usually men. And this one was mostly women and they just looked beautiful in their outfits. So besides all the cool vendors, there was hay rides, there was live music, there was corn pits, bouncy houses, a beer garden, food. So like everything was there and lined up for people to have a really good time. So if you get a chance to go to Market in the Mountains in Springdale, Washington, you should definitely check it out. They're set up for the end of September in 2025.